Thank you for coming on board. How do you ground your rack on a budget? If you don't have the EC or us put in a bus bar, then this is what we're gonna do is we're going to ground from the rack to the ceiling. So basically you're gonna just have some dikes you can cut your grounding wire. Now this particular gauge wire is 12 gauge. In smaller insulations, 12 gauge is fine, but typically in our world, we're gonna find 10 gauge and eight gauges for heavy duty. These guys are set for the gauge, so you can just strip back a little bit of it. Boom, there you have it. Then what you do is you take, I like to call them eyelids, different assortment for different gauges. Wrap this around, and what I always gotta tell everybody, you twist it around a little bit, but you have to use your dikes and squeeze it in for the contacts that have it on there. So I did the other end already. And what I did was I already drilled out a hole for speed's sake. Real quick thing, these bits, everybody asks me, I don't know why they don't Google it, but the ones with the tips are for wood. These are for metal and uh, also concrete at times. So I like to use just a regular hex screw and we're gonna put it through the eyelid. Now, just for speed, and because I'm shaking too much coffee, you already had it pre-drilled out. She ain't going nowhere. Now, this is just for a fast and dirty demonstration. What you then want to do is feed it through. You're going to dress it in a little bit better. You're going to put it all the way up to the ceiling structure beam. How do you do that? Standard J-hook, I-beam, uh, not J-hook, I-beam clamp. So you're going to screw it to there and then you could put another eyelid on it and then you're just going to attach it on a quarter 20. So you have this way up in the ceiling on the metal, which is supposed to be structurally grounded already. And that is grounding on a budget. So like and subscribe. Thanks very much. That's how you ground it on a budget.